Well, I thought this was kind of interesting, so I wanted to make a video about it. If I can talk over the turkeys here. Um, I had a, a guy here who broke his foot fighting. He uh, broke his middle toe about... I, he broke it about right, right there. It's all swollen. You can see how that's all swollen right about there. And so... Um, He's been limping. He's actually getting a little better. It took a while to get this. But as you can see, I got him a shoe, um, a custom shoe. And I'm not sure if he likes it. They shake their foot if it hurts or if they're just something irritating him. And so we took, I, you know, I took measurements. I sent him the measurements and stuff. And uh, the, here's what they ended up looking like. Um, the I probably should have got a five inch um, shoe part, but I just did four and four. I wanted to get it fast. So I kept it kind of similar to what he already had with the duck. He has duck splints and um, so this is 3d printed and then I guess ground out so this would have worked fine except that he doesn't want to keep his foot flat in other words you can see it, it matches quite well there but he didn't want to keep his foot flat so I ended up having to cut out this top section here these two, this this section, and then what happened was that it broke like right there, so I had to re-glue it with model glue. You can see the way these things are put together, there can be weak spots, so that's something you might run into, like uh, right there would probably be one if you see like a space. So anyway though, um, it ended up working, and um, I, um, I wrapped it with, uh, this is Koban, um, I don't no, he's I just put this on so he's not used to it yet. Anyway, I wrapped this with um with Coban type cling wrap and this stuff is kind of uh, spongy and sticky and it it clings to itself. In other words, on the last wrap you you pull it a little tighter and it totally clings to itself. Most people recommend gauze, but it gets wet, it can trap water against the skin of their legs and stuff. Uh, so this stuff is quite a bit better. It's more plasticky but soft and stretchy and it won't trap water in it and um so what i did is you obviously have to pre-wrap the leg so i wrapped I, re I wrapped the leg first i made a slit i made i pulled out a strip of it and i made a slit to go around the, the claw here and i wrapped the leg and then um real well and then um and then i put some i put a little bit over so it went over the claw because the the thing kind of presses against there so I put some over the claw and then I wrapped and then I put the shoe on and I wrapped it good and then I kind of just took some little clippers and cut out you can see I cut out where the claw goes so you don't want pressure on the claw obviously so it turned out pretty well um, and I don't know if he's gonna like it um, but he can put pressure on it now um, there's it kind of holds the toe up and so maybe that hurts him, but he'll get used to it. It'll keep it straight. I don't want it, um, you know, hardening in a bent position or something. So I hope it doesn't hurt him. Um, but uh, we'll see. I'll keep an eye on it. So anyway, there's an idea for splinting your broken, your turkey's broken foot.